What is going on, everybody? Tamagotchi here, and welcome into the Psychic Cup. We're going to be using Galarian Rapidash, Galarian Slow Bro, and Orangaroo. A nice little off meta pick, who I think is going to be very well against those Galarian Slow Kings who use Hex and Shadow Ball. Orangaroo's normal typing is going to fully resist that, double resist, actually. And it's going to be a great pick for it. So let's check out this team here and see how it performed. So pretty decent lead here. Galarian Rapidash into Alolan Raichu. So many different forms going on in this whole thing. But I'm going to shield up what could potentially be the Wild Charge. And it is the Wild Charge. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to build up a little bit of energy here and throw on the CMP tie, which I'm going to lose because I have a pretty high rank Galarian Rapidash. I just want to get some chip damage because I know I can't fully farm down that uh, Galarian Rapidash with the slow bro unless I get some chip damage. And this is just going to be a body slam. At least I think so. Anyways, I don't think they got the full. Yeah, just going to be a body slam. We get the full farm down and now out comes a Cresselia. This is quite fine for me. I'm having a lot of frame rate drops, a lot of lag going on. I don't know if you guys or girls are getting a lot of this stuff too let me know in the comments down below how your game is going because mine has just been absolute trash we get a shield which is all we can ask for against that Cresselia matchup and now we can just bring in the Oranguru. Oranguru has some decent bulk to it can take the grass down no problem although future sight would have probably did a lot more damage put me in the yellow health but we do have the foul play to hit back now confusion is a four turn fast move which i am not a big fan of but i like the foul play and the normal typing of Oranguru. I switch into the Rapidash to force him to throw energy here. And if this Alolan Raichu wants to throw the Wild Charge, that's going to be perfect for us because then we could just fully farm down. If they just would have thrown Thunder Punch, I think we uh, they could have won this game. But now we are almost at the back to back foul play. First foul play is going to get the shield. I need one more confusion. Can we get there? And that's a CMP to everybody. This is going to be taking out that Cresselia. And we are going to win game one. I didn't double move my Oranguru either. Maybe I should have. I mean, I didn't really see a point considering you only have Psychic or Future Sight on it. Which is going to be doing resisted damage anyways. So I think if you just have a single move Oranguru, you're going to be fine with just foul play. So pretty, um, pretty weird matchup here. Bruxus into Galarian Rapidash. Rapidash does not have a lot of bulk to it, so these bites are going to absolutely start chunking, even though it's a neutral damage because of our fairy subtyping. Bites just neutral, and we are just going to be able to get them to a range where I can come into my Galarian Slowbro and just farm all the way down. Psychic Fangs is going to be enough to knock us out. We come in with the Slowbro, get a nice head-on energy. So, and we see an Oranguru user of their own. I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb. Is it Sludge Bomb or Sludge Wave? Let's see here. Yeah, so I go for the Sludge Bomb. That does massive damage. And then I decide to save my Galarian Slowbro because I think there's going to be a fairy type user in the back. So it is going to be a Galarian Rapidash of their own. I'm going to throw the Foul Play here, expecting them to shield it up because that would be neutral damage because the Psychic, uh, psychic Typing is, makes it neutral, not resistant. Body Slam would do a whole lot of damage. I could have just no shielded there too. Came in with the Slowbro farmed all the way down. And probably had to expend both shields or maybe even just one because I probably could have lived the body slam from that range. And then I could have probably went double surf against their, their uh, my opponent's Oranguru. But this is just going to get a little bit dicey because we had to throw on three. It's uh, four fairy wins to the body slam. And then it's going to be, oh, I do have the body slam as a fairy move. That is a normal type move, everybody. So uh, maybe we can switch that on the fly here. So Rapidash into Malamar. This is what Rapidash is here for. Rapidash is going to be doing uh, super effective damage with the Fairy Winds. And we can pop out these Body Slams very, really fast. It's five to their move. Uh, their Foul Play move. And then it's going to be four Fairy Winds to our Body Slam. They decide to swap into their own Glaring Rapidash. I'm going to end up shielding up the first move here. Just because I don't want to get high horsepower and get one shot. And then I'm going to throw the Surf, forcing them even to shield. And uh, yeah, we do get the shield, which kind of tells me that they're going to be throwing the high horsepower here. So there's no reason not to shield. Completely lose switch advantage. High horsepower comes in. That, that would have one shot. Due to our poison typing, that would have absolutely destroyed us. And then they come in with a clay doll. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. Uh, surf is going to be doing super effective damage, but clay doll is a little bit um, bulky. And you can see there that it does have quite a bit of bulk to it. Served not even doing half damage. I do get the second shield and I come in by Rapidash. 
I get the body slam off, which is absolutely amazing. Cause then from here, I could just come in with the Oranguru and just farm all the way down and have a foul play locked and loaded. Shadow wall comes in left, right, good at night. In comes a Malamar. And I, I was really hoping that this foul play would do a lot more damage. But you're going to see here that it does not do a whole lot of damage to the Malamar because it's neutral due to Mal's, uh, Malamar's sub uh, dark typing. It's only neutral and they are able to get to another move here. But our Galarian Slowbro is still alive. We are able to farm them down and we get to the Surf before we get knocked out. And yes, we do. Just on the hair of our Chinny Chin Chins, we are able to get the Surf to knock out the Clay Doll. So. I built the Ranguru to see a couple slow kings and I didn't see one. I was seeing them so much yesterday. I don't know what happened. Okay. Raichu. Same game plan as last time. I'm going to go for the fairy one here, throwing on five in between their Volt Switcher. Body Slam does not going to get a shield. I am going to shield just in case it's a wild charge. Wild charge would absolutely one shot us, but the opponent decides to throw the Thunder Punch. I'm going to let this go. This is just a Body Slam. We can survive no problem and then i'm just gonna commit to the farm down here no i don't oh i decided to throw energy i thought they were gonna build up more and i decide to throw the surf which is quite unfortunate on my end because we could have got the full farm down and we could have left with almost two surfs locked and loaded for when whatever wants to come back in that raichu does decide to come back in and i don't get my move off and i think that's gonna hurt me in the long run i think if i would have got that surf off uh, we could have probably gotten a shield or saved our uh, Galarian Rapid Dash for what was in the end game here. You're going to see it's going to take two foul plays to put this thing into the red, not even KO it. And they are going to massively outpace us due to their psycho cuts, charge energy very, very fast. And our confusion, uh, we just can't keep pace and I don't have enough shields. And maybe if I would have gotten a shield from that surf, uh, we could have won this game because I would have gotten a three foul plays here. This is my third foul play and two foul plays might have been enough to get a shield and then a third pop. No, we still would have lost that game. GG's on to the next one. Victini lead. This is a little bit troublesome for this team. I'm going to stay in with the rapid dash for a bit. Throw four fairy wins, throw five fairy wins and then go for the body slam. I maybe I should have built up to the high horsepower because they're going to build up to the back to back V creates anyways. So at this point, I was like, okay, I just want to grab a shield and then I'm going to dip out of here into my glaring slow, bro. My glaring slow, bro. You can take a V create. It, it's not very nice, but you can take one. Oh gosh, that this does so much damage. And then they come into a bronzong. Oh, this is brutal. Bronzong completely walls it. You get the surf damage, but surf is just not the greatest move. And the poison jabs are completely resisted. So I'm going to come in here with the Oranguru. Hopefully I can get a foul play off before they get a move, but they get to the heavy slam, I think. Yeah, heavy slam and heavy slam would have done quite a bit of damage. Uh, these faint attacks are actually adding up quite a bit. But I'm going to go for the foul play. Foul play is going to be enough to one shot them. And unfortunately, I didn't build up enough energy here. And I think it's going to be a Malabar in the back. And I just don't have enough in the tank here. I, I have to let this go because I know they have another V create locked and loaded. So I couldn't have um, couldn't have shielded that because if I shield that, then the V create comes in and destroys my glaring rapid dash. I'm not a big fan of this cup. I find it very RPS and very quick matches. So um, Master League, maybe I might put a Master League video out. I don't have a full range of Pokemon to play in the Master League, but uh, we can have fun with it, I guess. But I do have 100% IV Skeletor. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that it run in the Master League. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to lose this game too, but I got two, three, two sets with this team. No, I got a 4-1, I think, the other day too, or yesterday. I don't know. Something like that. But if you guys are liking the content, please hit the like button. Comment if you want to see anything in the future. And like always, I'll see everybody in the next video.